Hello, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 4. Last time, Yuli was stuck in a battle by herself, and she's kind of screwed. Um, I think the best course of action is to stay far away and just cast some buffs on myself until uh, I can really take care of these guys. I did it oh. somehow! Well, that's always nice. Oh, sweet! Everybody came to my rest? Well, not everybody. Where's our no? I uh, don't really need to heal. Can I sanctify? Eh, it doesn't really do much of anything. I'm going to move her... Well, actually, let me look at her weaknesses. Not really weak to anything, unfortunately. So I'm going to move her... Well, I'll stick her over here. Why not? Let's do this. And i got to wait till our no joins the battle before I, um, before I use a lucky card or anything like that. A phantom line goes and hurts everybody. Why not? That'll be nice. Ooh. Okay, good. Oh, there he is. Okay, perfect. So now let's Mystic a lucky card. There we go. Perfect. I think something good's about to happen. I'm gonna have to use a um, Gala card as well. Oh, thank God she survived. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, let's, um, let's intrude. Yeah, why not? Okay, so we'll intrude. We'll hit them, kill them. And move over here. Kill this, well, hurt him a lot at least. You are going to, well, if you material, how much damage will that do? Ooh, a pretty good amount. But I don't think that it will kill him, so I'm going to go ahead and heal us up. Because I don't want to die. That's the last thing I want to do. I was hoping to use a material let's on him. But, uh, let's see. Blast. Um, sure. Let's blast. Why not? About 3,000 damage. Not bad. Now I'll use a Gala card. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Oh, I have to be by him. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's move over here. That way I'm somewhat by him, but I can also attack him if I want to. And I'm not in the same hex. Okay, way. now let's use the Gala card on him. There we go. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can steal. Eh, why not? Eh, nothing. Unfortunately. Um, oh god, he comes next. And he's still not dead. Oh hell. Oh, heal up. Why not? I uh, probably should have healed Jude. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, we're good. Think you can take me on? Oh, it's time for some intrude action! Bam! And there you go. Thank you, Raquel. Not too bad. Just make sure that you cast Protect with Yuli whenever it first begins and you just kind of wait it out until... The other characters come to join you. Wow, look at that experience in gold. Awesome. Damn, I totally blew it. It's my fault we... How pathetic. Despite all your bragging, your razor sharp mind didn't do much good, did it? Oh, these two bitches. Dolls? Are they part of Brionic? We're Fiora in Asia. Our job is to secure that girl and finish off the rest of you nobodies. People call us the Dreaming Dolls. It doesn't matter who you are, we'll never hand over Yuli. Oh look! A hot-blooded boy. He makes my heart pitter patty just by looking at him. No, Fiora. It's too soon for our hearts to race. Gone, little dolls. Yuli's our dear friend. If you insist on threatening her, we'll show no mercy. This lady cares about her friends. Yet that other guy ignored his friend's warnings and took off by himself, putting them all in danger. All because of his razor-sharp mind. Must have been a pretty cheap razor for it to break so easily. Ugh, damn it. We hand over the girl quietly, or you choose to fight us. Either way, I guess you need time to reach a decision. We'll be wait waiting for you on the other side of this bridge. Please make up your mind before you cross over. I must warn you, 
If you choose to challenge us, you'd best be prepared. We'll be waiting to welcome you with our hearts of racing. It doesn't matter what they say. I still trust you, Arno. We can count on what's above your neck, right? Then... Yeah, that's right. This time, I'm going to show you what a real razor-sharp mind can do. Is anybody else besides me getting sick of all the razor-sharp mind crap? And the, uh, you know, great above your neck bullshit and all this other crap? It just gets on my damn nerves. Okay, um, I want to say that there's a way to break this thing. But, uh, let's see. I want to go this way? Yes! Okay, perfect. There we go. And then hit this one to head on back up. Easy enough. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to save up, use my arm and all that good stuff. Meet you in a second. Okay, let's keep on going. Keep on moving and grooving. Still nothing. I hate this desert area. We've been in a fire area, an ice area, a desert area now. I'd rather just stay in the ice areas, to be honest with you. Okay, keep on. Ah! Let's try that again. Climb up over here, go over here, go up this way. Check it summit, don't see anything. Keep on going. Those switches um, are for an optional boss later on. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll deal with all that crap later. And let's see. Anything? Ooh, there is some stuff in the background. Ooh, and there's a treasure over there. Yikes! Oh, someone comes in handy for more than just, uh... The treasures, I guess. Well, let's go over to here, and then... I'm gonna wait here to excel again, and get all the crap on the way back. Why not? Might as well. Yeah! Nice! There we go. Perfect! Okay, now let's go and get these treasures. Ooh, fire gems. And what's down over here? I saw one. There we are. Ooh, the chain guard. Let's check that out. That's some armor for Jude. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I will be using that. And uh, we're almost out of here. Thank God. And uh, we can use any crystal that we want to. It really doesn't matter. Um, one's just... You know, one involves stomp diving switches, the other one involves timing on these stupid platforms, and I probably shouldn't have chosen this one, because I hate jumping on platforms, it drives me nuts. Ooh, what's this? Okay, that is the uh, key. It's a new tool, and if you get that key, you can use that to open up those crystals that have the optional bosses in it. I will die a horrible death if I fight an optional boss right now, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Let's see if there's anything more. No. Ooh! Treasure! What do we got here? Some pinwheels. Okay. I'll take that. And keep on moving and grow. Ooh! Duplicator chest. What do we got here? Sure. I have 17 of them. Why not? My god. Pocketbook. Let's check that out. You know, in the very first Wild Arms, the duplicators were like... like gold, you know? And now... Oh, that's nice. But I have so much gel, it really doesn't matter. Duplicators were like gold. I mean, it was insane. You had to get them, and you held on to them, and you saved them, and you were wonderful. Now it's like, yeah, I got a duplicator, you know. What do you fucking do? Like, what does it matter if they give them to you so much, and you use them? Oh, why am I going this way? Like, like they gave them to you right before the very first duplicator chest. You didn't have to save. You didn't have to write anything down. You used to have to write down all the chests and everything, and now it's like... Who the fuck cares? I hate these freaking dolls. They remind me of Arietta and Tales of Death or Tales of Abyss, and I can't stand her either. So, did you make up your mind? There's no value to a fool's thinking. No matter which choice you made, the lack of quality in your razor won't change. I don't need to take any lip from a doll. You're in for a big surprise if you think you're going to get the best of me again. Differentiating between humans and dolls, you have no ability to dream, do you? Our Master Heath, he loved us, and if you believe in your dreams, they'll always come true. Our Master believed in our hearts so strongly, we were brought to life. 
Do you think that just having dreams and goals is enough to make you special? Oh god, I don't have to deal with them any longer. How dare you insult our master! Our poor old Heath! You're nothing but a flimsy razor that's soon to shatter anyway! Okay, we're on the same square. Let's see if, uh, I have any... If all these... Multiple forces to use, but first things first, since we're all in the same square, I'm gonna go ahead and use a lucky card on all of us so I don't have to waste a mystic. Nice. I'm not gonna worry about a Gala card though, because I'd have to use. Let's Damn, get spell. Okay, I'll do my best. Circuits connected, full power. Uh oh. <laughs> oh good, Yuli gets to go soon. Um. Let's see, I wanna kill these guys pretty. Ooh, they're. They're actually really, uh... Let's see, increases the amount of XP. Yeah, let's do that. Let's reinforce. Why not? Instead of one to learn it, let's use it. Um, I'm gonna have you heal us up. Probably should use Protect as well, but right now we need to heal. I'll Protect next time. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Next thing. Let's try that. Oh, that deals it against one, 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 eh. Um, yeah, let's do that against her. Basically, you just want to kill one of them. Doesn't really matter which one you kill, just kill one of them, because their yeah. dual magic is insane. Cool. My heart is full of dreams. Oh, shit! Oh god, this sucks. Um, uh, let's use, yeah. I wonder if I have a high revive. I don't even see it. I don't see it irregular. Oh, there's a revive fruit. I don't have a high revive. Relax oh, I, and got, I gotta get him up. I gotta get him up. Um, I'll do my best. gotta heal again. Unfortunately, I wanted to use that protect. Probably should have somebody else heal so then she can use protect. That would make sense. This illusion will deceive you! Hit down. Oh, that's not too bad. Um... Ugh, his attack sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna have him use a heal berry. Heal us back up a little bit. Trump card! I figured we might need this! That stopped short, but I guess I can't complain. That'll help. You gotta have fun! Human beings are so Ooh, fragile! Ooh, fragile! Yikes. You know what? I'm gonna have him jump out of this hex, and I'll stick us. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over here. Even if we're apart, I'll be there in a flash. And he still gets to act. Um, let's see. You know what? Let's check out their weaknesses. Probably should have done that before. Not weak to anything. Not weak to anything. Um, okay, so we will fragile you. Let's lower your guard a bit. Okay. Let's see now. And. Yeah, let's try a phantom line, maybe. Maybe that. Oh yeah, that has much better hit or much better attack power than his regular attack. And Yuli, uh, I said I wanted to protect. Let's do that. Yeah, you know, finally able to. Why not? Okay. You gotta have fun. I'll blow you away. Oh god. My turn to show off. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can blast. Uh, oh, let's look at this. Let's see what we got here. Sorcery Grenade, Powerful Attack. Let's see how much damage this one does. Ooh, almost killing her. What, will Blade Driver kill her? No. So we'll use a Sorcery Grenade. Yeah, unfortunately, these two bitches are hard, because it's pretty much like they are really powerful bosses, but this is the first time they've had to fight two in one battle. So, it does make it quite more than you'd normally have to put up with. Um, move and attack. Uh, I want to kill her. Boss B goes next, which is her, so that's a pretty good amount of damage. Let's look at some of these other ones. Ooh, that's a decent amount of damage, too. And poison her. Uh, let's use the Dragon Edge. Why not? That's new and I learned it. Nice! It's time for a break! Uh, 
Okay, we're doing good. Um, hopefully... Can you... Uh, just to make sure I can kill her, I'm gonna use a phantom line. Phantom Let's get rid of this bitch. Ow! Yeah, you're done. Um... Okay, now I can... Let's fragile you. Yuli's gonna be my little heal bitch. There we go. Here I go. Nice. Um, let's see. You have joint struggle. Deals damage based on the number of allies in the same hex, and we're all in the same hex, so yeah. Awesome! Man, that's like Raquel damage right there. Eh, hit down, don't really care. Uh, let's see. We'll use... Oh. It's not really doing as much damage as it was before. I'll go ahead and intrude with her just to make sure I get more attacks, just to really finish this bitch off. And, uh, yeah, I'll drag an edge again. Why not? Oh! Er, that's not good. Well, let's just try a regular attack. Oh, shit! Uh, Arno. Kill this bitch. Phantom line. Come on! Fuck. Um, I'm gonna move her to the fire lay point just in case I need to. Um, I can hardly feel ooh, that. Nice. Just in case I need to um, use a material. Huh, oh my god! I'm there sorry, we go. About he, damn time. I I'm what, sure there's a more efficient way of doing that, but eh, whatever. I killed them all the same and nobody died. That's all that really matters. It's not fair. How can we lose? How can we lose to people who don't even have dreams? So much for the dreaming dolls, more like the dead dolls. Our loss is Heath's loss. It's so unfair. We can't let it end like this. This Heath you call your master. Did you really believe in dreams? You inherited all your thoughts and your behavior from him, right? You speak of dreams, yet you look down upon people and toy with them. Looking at you, I conclude that this Heath didn't really believe in dreams, but chose to escape into convenient fantasies. Stop saying bad things about Heath. Yeah, maybe sexual things. Ugh. I'm going to join Heath, and I'm taking you with me. My heart races at the very thought. Run, everyone! Just going to try something! Uh-oh. Yeah! And, of course, Yuli gets left. Uh-huh. I'm all alone now. I'm so sad. I feel like my heart is about to burst. Man, drop this bitch off a cliff! You really are a fool. I bet you were trying to look cool by rushing out like that. But you're just gonna go boom along with me. I may be able to continue my mission, but I can still cause some serious damage. In the end, you'll just cause misfortune to your companions again. I'm sure Heath will be pleased. Would you shut up already? Ah, oh, soon my heart will burst. I suppose it was your razor-sharp mind that came up with this futile effort. That's right, but it's not futile, because my razor is double-edged. Oh. Bam! Drop kick to the groin, you cunt! <laughs> That'll cause some vaginal bruising. You never think before you act, do you? Is rushing up and sacrificing yourself what you call razor-sharp thinking? Now you're saying the same thing as the doll. All's well that ends well, right? And besides, I wasn't sacrificing myself. I was fully intending to come back. How can you say that when you had us so worried? If I used my jump ability and made a big show of rushing out, I figured it'd make the kid jump out after me with his accelerator. And then, well, I figured he'd come up with something. Yeah, like a kick to the... <laughs> you really take the cake, you know that. But that means you trusted me enough to risk your life. You're not supposed to mention that sort of thing. Kids, I tell ya. <laughs> I'm so sick of the razor sharp Marty and the kids bullshit. Ah, uh, there's no need to apologize. Saving it was just a side effect to saving myself. 
No, I wasn't thinking of- I wasn't about to. Or no, Jude, thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. That's it, Yuli. Not an I'm sorry, but a thank you. Apologizing all the time is weird anyway. And besides, it's much nicer to hear thanks rather than a sorry when you're on the receiving end. Really? Yeah, definitely. I was really happy to hear you say that. Buckeye's just ahead. Let's hurry on before anything else gets in our way. Okay. So, uh, keep on heading east. Same old, same old. We're almost out of here. Thank God. Ugh. Sick to death of this place. So, the ending screen is pretty much a duplication of the beginning screen, as far as I can tell, as far as I'm aware, at least. But, uh, there we go. Perfect. This bitch-ass dolls are dead. I'm so happy that whenever you kill someone in this game, they actually die. You never see them again. It's wonderful. We, the Congressional Knights, emerged victorious in the Great War against the Global Union. But lo and behold, what awaited us at the conclusion of the war? The limitations of democracy. In other words, defeat. The concept of representative democracy is fatally flawed. The public is ignorant and foolish. They cannot uphold ideals. They cannot understand government. Indeed. By opening up to the masses, the quality of government decreases, and even the simplest issues take an enormous amount of time to resolve. The idea of a democratic government by the people is nothing more than an outdated fantasy. For the future of Philgaia, the guidance of its leaders is all that matters. We are the true leaders. Only through us can there be a future for this world. But we have so very little time. Where is the technology that will make us eternal? Eternity stands before us. Yet, what does Brigannick do? Lambda, no matter the cost, bring us the girl. The sacrifice, at once. The divine weapon is our future, and the key to opening the door to the future is Yuli Atreides. Eternal life unto us for an eternal future for the world! Those guys remind me of those weird, like, the weird guys in Xenoblade in the second, in the, or not Xenoblade, Xenogears. In the second disc. You know who I'm talking about? They were like in Solaris or something. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 4, we'll be heading to Buckeye Station. It's about freaking time. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.